What's going on, baseball community? Um, it's January. I hope you're getting your swings in. Um, right now is probably the most important time that you'll have all year for the upcoming baseball season. Like right now is. You should be taking your swings every day. And I think that's something that every hitting coach will agree with. But that brings me to my point. All right. Right now, if you were to search how to swing at a baseball with a bat, you would receive so many different strategies and approaches on getting to the baseball. In my opinion, a lot of the ones that you'll find on the internet are actually right. But they miss some crucial detail. And all of these gurus think the other one is wrong. I'm going to be honest with you. Over the course of the past couple of years, I've came back to baseball. I came back to baseball three years ago. I've played three seasons since. And it took about eight and a half years off. As an older guy, I had to learn how to swing again. Not that my body didn't know how to swing. Well, I think that's more what it was. But I mean, not that I didn't know how to swing. But I had to re-get into that groove, make sure my hands were slotting right. You know, I was getting behind the baseball. I was getting my hips open. I was following through properly. <clears throat> well, over time, I kind of had to find myself looking up different videos online to find out what I was doing wrong. I spent a lot of time studying the science of hitting. The one thing that I noticed is there are a lot of opinions out there on hitting baseball, and every one of these gurus thinks the other one is wrong. The sad part about that is, is sometimes people are leaving out a crucial detail, but they won't hear from anybody else. I think it's time that the community comes together and we start discussing the reasons why each one of the parts that we practice or we preach can influence a hitter into having a better game. So enough of the dissent in the hitting world. Instead, let's share why each of us are having success in our own ways and how we can put it together. I forgot the hitting coach's name, but he's the one with the, the bottom hand approach and following the glide and he compares his swing a lot to Griffey. Then you have Teacherman who bases a lot of his swing around what Barry Bonds was trying to accomplish. Believe it or not, if you put those two things together, you end up with the final product. You see, I'm a firm believer that quickness solves a lot of issues. And in order to be quick, you have to be fast. And in order to be fast, you have to have a solid follow-through. In order to get to the ball properly, if you don't have a solid follow-through, your bat path isn't going to find the right... That That's my theory. All right? I do believe in gearing up a lot of the way that Teacherman says... And if you listen to my approach, it that, that oh shit, I forgot his name, but um, the one-handed swing like Griffey and stuff that follows a lot of what I'm trying to accomplish too. But when you put it all together, you end up with a nice, strong, quick, balanced approach that is as fast as it possibly can be. And we won't come to that opinion unless we come together. All right, no one opinion is correct in baseball. I will tell you that right now because I have had success using everybody's method. And as a guy that can still play and does still play at 37 years old and understands all these hitting methods, I've made myself a guinea pig and I've tried all of them. And all of them have success in their own way. So let's come together. Let's have a debate. Let's talk. We're all hitting coaches and we all have an idea of how this game should be played. So instead of fighting each other, let's come together and realize that every single archetype of player can adopt a certain hitting style that works for them. We don't necessarily have to change the hand positioning, the body movement, or anything like that. What we have to change is our attitude towards each other's approaches. Can't wait to have a debate. I'd love to talk with Teacherman, Richard Schick, or any one of these guys. Jeff Fry. Even though I, I don't really agree with a lot of the things that he's trying to say. But, you know there. Let's talk.